Hello there, it's week whatever and weigh in. I don't even know um, because I take two weeks off. Uh, I went to Liverpool to see friends and that became a little odyssey to Glasgow to see other friends um, and then a little travel around the top of, at the bottom of Scotland. So yeah, um, I already know my way in, but I will show you. somewhat inexplicably i've managed to stay the same um which is surprising because as my t-shirt says i feel like a filthy pig and i really do um so the thing is i knew i was going to go away at liverpool and i knew i would be struggling with um staying on plan as well staying on the one pound a week challenge because there's so many nice things to eat there and it's a holiday of sorts so it was you know i'm gonna let my hair down and then when that turned into traveling up to Glasgow, that's a road trip. And then two days in Glasgow, I think it was, where amongst other things, I ate a hot dog with macaroni cheese on top and black pudding. I mean, if that's not gonna put you in the back of an ambulance, what will? Um, so yeah, the problem I then had was when I came back, I found it really hard to get back into the swing of things, when, which is surprising because it's not a difficult um, challenge to have, is it? Like trying to lose one pound a week, it's just calorie control. But I couldn't switch holiday mode off um, at all. So it was like, oh, I'll start again tomorrow and I'll start again tomorrow. And I've talked about this before. It happens to us all and it will, it will always happen to me because I like excess. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was my struggle. And you, like I say, I ate and drank a lot. The only thing I will say is I'm not entirely surprised I stayed the same because although I did eat well beyond what I would normally eat and stuff like that, I also made sure I did a lot of walking and there was a bit of damage control towards the end of the week where I thought, you know, fuck this. Even if I'm not in the mood, I'm just going to record my calories and stuff like that and get back on it. And I'm still not 100% back on it, but I think those last few days of, you know, focusing a bit more helped save the day. So I'm a little bit disappointed that I've stayed the same, but actually in the grand scheme of things, I'm not too bad. But what I did want to talk about, because um, it's something I don't think I've really addressed, is the feeling um, when you've been eating loads and loads of crap and you've been drinking loads and you've been well off your diet, it feels great when you're eating it, but fuck me, it, I feel rotten at the moment. I'm slightly better now, but the last couple of days, so sluggish and just no energy and stuff like that and shitting for England just saying um and it's it's horrid and it's very reminiscent of back when I was much bigger and I was overeating all the time I just felt dreadful um and I hate this feeling and the problem is when I get like this when I get all lethargic and I get all kind of like stuffy and it's really hard to kind of force yourself to start eating properly and exercising more, which then releases all the, the good chemicals in your brain and then it's easier to stay on it. I hate it, absolutely hate it. And I am genuinely struggling with it at the moment. And so that's why I want to be a bit open and honest with you. Um, but anyway, oh, by the by, this is what I'm gonna do this week because although I want my green circle next week, I'm not going to pretend now. Um, there are going to be times on this where you do want a bigger weight loss. And it's great following the one pound a week thing because it's a very easy plan. Very, it's not even a fucking plan, is it? It's just a concept. It's very easy to focus on that. But if, if I am going to get myself back into this, I kind of do need that slightly bigger boost. So I'm going to aim... Shocking, I know. Um, for at least for two pounds, which is the higher end of the safe weight loss um, every week. And I'm going to do that just this week because I want to crystallize the mind, as it were. Um, yeah, so I've already worked out what I'm going to be eating this week in terms of from the books, and I'm going to put them online after this video at some point. Uh, I'm going to be exercising a little bit more because I need to. Um, plus, I've got loads of Pokemon Go eggs that I need hatching. And I will come back next week, and although I am aiming for my green circle, and if I only lose a pound next week and get my green circle, fantastic, but I want to lose, as I say, two pounds, just to be a contrary little bitch. Um, so, yes, that's it. Sorry for the waffle. I'm sorry I didn't have anything exciting to say, and I'm really sorry there hasn't been any kind of wizzy wazzy special effects. Wizzy wazzy. Yeah, I use words 
that nobody used since the 18th century. Um, but we will get back on this. And hopefully this time next week, Davina, I will be feeling a little bit more chipper about things. Um, so good day. Hope everyone's well. Hope your weight losses are going good. Um, if not, talk about it. And hopefully we will all get back on track next week. And I'm going to change out this t-shirt because I can't go to the Metro Centre dressed like this. Just saying. <laughs>